Hello, hello, my name is Laura Page. I'm a licensed hairstylist and makeup artist in the state of Indiana. I am going to walk you through my daily curls, signature curls, whatever you wanna call them. I had a lot of requests for this over on Instagram and um, on TikTok. So, firstly, this is day two hair. I washed it yesterday with um, Amika Buster Brass and Amika The Vault. I did Bust Your Brass first, I think, and then the vault to lock in my toner. And then after that, I put in um, two different heat protectants and I just blow dried it and I flat ironed it. So today I did nothing but brush my hair. So here's what I'm going to kind of use and then I'll walk you through what I do. The first thing that I always make sure I have out is a hairspray. I like a medium hold. And what I've been really loving lately is the Mydenity by Guy Tang. And then I have Amika The Shield. This is an anti-humidity spray. It has a light hold and it also has a heat protectant to it up to 480 degrees, which there's not a lot of reasons for your, for your tools to be at 480 degrees, but that's beside the point. And then I also have Air. This is just the shine spray. I use this at the end to get the nice shiny look I like. And then I also use this at the end. It's the Air Hair Oil with Jade and Bay Leaf. So those are the products I'll be using. I like to have two gator clips. And if you see the difference between this and like a um, normal clip is that this part bends. So it can kind of grab a little bit more hair. So I have two of those. And then I have my Ion um, one inch curling barrel and I set it at 350 degrees. So let's get started. So I've already brushed through my hair. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to just wherever my part is at, I'm gonna take that down all the way to the back of my head like this. And I'm gonna split it. And I'm gonna take the clip and come up from the back and just clamp that to the side. I do my curls a little bit different just cause it's easier for me where I do one whole side of my head and then I work on the next side. I can do that with my clients. That's my technique. You certainly don't have to. You can go like taking sections this way and doing layer by layer all the way up the head. This is the way that I prefer to do it. So, and then this one, we're going to go oh about an inch down, take that down kind of at an angle twist this and pin this out of the way. So that's your sectioning. Next, I'm gonna take my Amica The Shield, give it a nice spray. And then you take this in even smaller sections. I try to keep everything pretty even cause that's what's gonna really give you the curl you like. So this is about, I don't know, an inch by an inch and I'm gonna take it. So you wanna be care careful of this because you don't wanna get the hair caught in the hinges. That can tear your hair. Another thing is I see a lot of people take the clamp and they wanna clamp it down toward the end and then roll all the way up on their hair. You can do that if you want it to be a softer curl and mostly toward the ends of your hair. But my signature classic curls that people see me with, it's pretty much an even curl all the way down. So what you're gonna do is you wanna slightly rotate your iron. So that way the, cl the clamp is not directly on the top of the hair because that can also cause a crease in it. So I sl slightly rotate it where the hook or the clamp is out facing out from my hair. I open it and I put it all like about an inch from the scalp and then you want to rotate slowly open just enough to bring more hair in and then we're gonna go like that and if you notice I left a little bit of hair there out on the end and then as you release you're gonna twist open and twist that is really important the way that you release your hair off of your iron that really affects the curl as well the temperature affects your curl, the size of your iron, the way that you release it, um, how quickly you run your fingers through, all of those things affect your curl. So you're gonna do that around the whole head. And these little guys, if you have face framing or this is grown out bangs, I leave that. I don't want to touch it yet because oftentimes your hair is more fragile right around your face. So you want to be really careful with what you do right here. And you want to put the least amount of heat on it possible because your hair is already more fragile there. It gets, usually that's like one of the first foils your hairstylist puts in if you get highlights or lowlights. Um, it's right up next to your face. So I tend to see a lot of clients 
uh, kind of fry off the hair right there because that they want to look the most perfect because that's right what they see when you look in the mirror. So take your next section down. I just section with my clip. Some people do, some people don't, whatever you prefer. Use your heat protectant all the way along the way. So I finished this side. So for now, I'm gonna take this clip again and I'm gonna come back and pull all those curls aside and just clip it right there. Don't worry if you see any straight pieces yet because that's something I like to do at the end is I take a mirror and I turn around and look in the mirror behind me to see if I missed any pieces. So if you noticed while looking at the former clips that when I'm curling, I'm curling everything away from my face on this side, I'm gonna do the same on this side. So the only place where curls meet where they're not going the exact same direction is right here at the end where or in the back of the head right in the middle then you'll have those two curls meet but other than that you're always going away from the face the purpose of this is because when you make your curls away from your face it softens the features and makes them look a lot more feminine if you curl towards your face it sharpens all of your features so if you want a softer uh, like look with your face then you want to curl away from your face so we're gonna do the same kind of thing here. I'm just taking that clip out. I'm suctioning, pinning it up, and then I'm gonna spray it. If you are not used to a one inch curling iron, say you curl your hair regularly, but you use a three quarter inch or you use an inch and a half, one thing you wanna remember is that when you're used to curling your hair or straightening your hair with a certain size of iron, your hands will have muscle memory. So it's used to only having to roll so many times before you're getting close enough to your scalp. So if you say you always use a three quarter inch iron or a five eighths inch iron and you're going to a one inch to get this look just be really careful because that muscle memory is very powerful and you will burn yourself and yes i'm speaking from experience i have a scab a really nice one up there from hitting my ear while using an inch and a half iron the other day which i very rarely use the one inch is like my staple for this length of hair so just be very careful. So I've curled all of this. I haven't checked the back yet, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit slower. My little guys right here. So I don't really like to curl these yet at the length that they are as much as I curl the rest of my hair. So I just kind of want to give them a slight bend just so they don't look awkward because they're awkward straight, but then they're going to be awkward too curly too. So I'm just going to do like a slight bend and release and that way it'll kind of blend back with the rest of my hair without being too curly. So if you see that, I'm just clipping it, curling it and releasing it right away. And then it gives it enough texture and it gives it enough movement that it just kind of goes right back. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to take out my clip that I put in earlier. And what I want to do is I want to leave these curls for a second and I'm going to grab my hand mirror and kind of look in the mirror, see what I got going on. Usually I kind of have to fix up this spot because I, it's what I like to call my Henri spot. Usually it falls kind of fast, but the rest of my hair does a good job. But actually this looks okay for someone who doesn't have her glasses on though so I might have to put those on because I don't have my contacts in either so I want to give my hair one more spray with the humidity spray and then a slight spritz with my medium hold now a lot of times if I'm doing especially a looser curl I like to use a comb like this but your hands work fine too so I'm just going to show you that so I'm going to lean backwards have my hands kind of spread apart and go right in at my temples and just kind of shake as I pull just to gently loosen those curls I 
do have a couple straight pieces back here. So when they're in the bottom layers, I just kind of awkwardly lean over and stick my iron right in there. Just enough to give it that nice bend. Now I'm gonna take my hairspray again, my medium hold. I'm gonna just do one pump of my oil rub my hands together and mostly get that from like the ears down. I've been trying to grow my hair out so I have to treat it really nice when I put heat on it and put a lot of protection and infuse a lot of stuff in it and then my shine spray that's just going to go everywhere. So this is the finished look. It's really easy. It doesn't take a lot of time normally. I think it takes me about five to seven minutes to curl my hair. And I do actually have quite a bit. My strands are fine, but I have a lot of them. So when you're used to doing anything beauty related, if you're used to doing it and you have a technique and you know what you're doing, it really doesn't take that much time. The time is learning it, but once you have it down, a lot of things, you might only be five to 10 minutes on your regular everyday looks where like your heavier looks where you're doing updos or half ups or doing like more glam looks on your makeup instead of an everyday those are the ones that might take you know 30 minutes to an hour to accomplish but a lot of the stuff that I like to do here on my YouTube channel is stuff that the everyday girl is going to want to know how to do if you are interested in doing your hair or doing your makeup without having to spend a lot of time so here are my classic curls that I do all the time. This is how most people know me, is they see me with these curls instead of straight hair. And kind of the running joke is for the people who are really in my inner circle is that when Laura's hair is straight, we know that it's clean. So it, it may be anywhere from five to nine days without being washed if you see my hair curled, give or take a few days. So anyways. Thanks for visiting my channel, guys. Again, my name is Laura Page. I'm a licensed hairstylist in the state of Indiana, and I do videos on hair, makeup, and all things beauty. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and that way the algorithm knows to send my video to more people on their feeds. Thank you.